and welcome to a year in review starring the one and only Chase Winovich. How you doing today, Chase? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> of course. Now, I want to jump to the chase. All right. Let's talk about yesterday's game. Tell me what exactly happened. It was a tough loss, but I mean, you had a good game. Take us through that game. Yeah, in life, just like in football, you know, sometimes you're the gator and sometimes you're the gator bait. I think yesterday we were more so the gator bait, <laughs> especially in that second half. Um, you know, things just didn't go our way from the, you know, the very beginning, calls and uh, just, you know, 50-50 things that could have went either way uh, went, to, you know, for the Florida team and things escalated from there. So as tough as it was, hats off to, you know, the Florida team and the Florida coaching staff for, uh, you know, just preparing really well and uh, just coming out on top. They were just, you know, a better team than us yesterday. Um, but, you know, always go blue no matter what. Of course. And, uh, you know, we're, we're always going to ride. We're always going to love, love Michigan. And uh, So it was a tough day at the office, but, hey, you know, there's always next year. It was a good season. They have next year. For the boys. Exactly. exactly. So let's turn 2018 to a positive note. Let's talk about some of your favorite memories from this season. Obviously, your fifth year here at Michigan. Um, I want to talk about your favorite play. You know, you had a lot of big plays throughout the season. What was your most memorable play? As a Penn State grad yourself, you can appreciate the, uh, the thing of beauty uh, yeah. It was whenever, you know, I, I got my sack against Penn State this year. Yeah. And for me, it kind of wrapped things up for a lot of ways mm -hmm. because my sophomore year, or my, you know, my redshirt sophomore year, that was, I think, one of my first sacks was against mm -hmm. Penn State. So, you know, to come back, you know, senior year, same place after they had beat us pretty bad the year before and, uh, you know, coming from Pennsylvania and having a lot of friends that went to Penn State. <laughs> Uh, to get that sack and you know against Trace and yeah. and um, it was just such a special special moment and special feeling and it it really just kind of um, en encapsulated mm -hmm. uh, you know everything that uh, I had put in to get to that moment. Yeah. Uh, so if I had to you know divide it to one single play, I would say the uh, the sack against Penn State because just yeah. like getting up after the play and just feeling the electricity. All your friends watching. Electricity in the yeah. crowd and knowing that you know mm -hmm. I had some Penn State grads. Yeah that were in the stands, that mm -hmm. you know, were some of my best friends, and you know, watching on TV, and they were just absolutely sick that I, I did that. But yet supportive, so it's, yes. it's an interesting balance. Yeah, it was tough to watch, but I was proud of you. You know, Chase, you are known for some of your unusual celebrations, thinking back to the Nebraska game, you sacked the QB, pulled your heart out of your chest and ate it. A lot of people are wondering, where do you come up with these celebrations? So growing up, it was a tradition for, with you know, one of my best friends, Stephen Kunzman, and I, that every year the pool would open and we'd fill it up with this, this like, you know, frigid, cold, like, like 45, 50 degree water, and mm -hmm. we'd be the first ones to jump in. Um, and, you know, just going about my, you know, my business and my, and my life, and I, I, I felt like, felt like that was kind of my mentality is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not one to shy away from these new experiences and, and just, uh, just having fun and you know whatever life takes yeah. me really and so when it came down to you know the Notre Dame game mm -hmm. and I got the, the sack against them and it was unfortunate because they had scored the next play yeah it, you know it that happens. wasn't good but in know, the moment on, on that play on yeah. that moment yeah I had uh, I, did, I did my celebration and what it was was you know I went swimming so I did the, uh, yes. who knew I was a multi-sport athlete who knew and I went swimming man and of many I, and many then I hit talents. the snorkel so also, great dance moves. If anybody, he's out a there. great dancer. Just let anybody's you all looking know. for a, uh, you know, just a, a really candid, uh, just great dance move to really li liven yes. and lighten the, uh, the the air and yeah. the, you know the room. That's I highly suggest that. That's yeah. one of my favorites. Okay. Um, Love it. And then along with that would be, uh, I would say against Nebraska. Yeah. Whenever that was my favorite. Yeah. Yes. That was my favorite. Yes. Yeah. That was one of my favorites as well. So yeah. against Nebraska. I had um, I beat the guy. Well, I had missed the sack earlier. Like it was the, me and jo myself and Jordan Glasgow yes. were coming in, and I, I kind of slipped off of him, and uh, he well, he threw the ball away. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, you know, I need to get this guy, mm -hmm. um, and I, I just felt like there was a lot of criticism of Michigan, and um, I felt like we needed to, to you know step up our game in terms of like. You know our, our our anger and our frustration and the, like the, our style of play and um, 
So whenever I had the opportunity to, you know, against Nebraska, I got, you know, I got the sack, I got up, and I said, you know what, I, I've been eating, you know, quarterbacks' hearts out uh, for, you know, quite some time yeah. now. Now it's time, you know, we, we take it to the next step and just say, you know, screw it. Let's eat our own hearts. And so that's why, I, you know, I, I love it. ripped my own heart out and ate it. Um, it was interesting because I actually got some slack for it because, you know, vet, not veterans, but like people that were like friends with veterans, which is even weirder, were like, were you eating a grenade? Like, you, yeah. know, was, you know, was that disrespectful I didn't get that vibe, military? yeah. And it was like, because they thought I was taking a that, fight Yeah, out of I can see where they could see that, yeah. And so it was just like. Good morning, everyone. Just wanted to say Chase Winovich is still ugly. Clay Matthews want to be looking ass. I mean, I do want to be Clay Matthews, so it's like, yeah, like, <laughs> you got me, but, like, it's not very nice. <laughs> All right. From Buckeye Nation, OSU football underscore one. Chase Winovich looks like that ugly lunch lady in grade school. <laughs> Wow. You know what? I respect lunch ladies, and you should too. My mom was a lunch Learn lady. your manners. All right. Uh, this is from Jed Demwayze. How do you say that? Demwayze. Yeah. Demwayze. Interesting, interesting last name. Okay, you're losing a point for that. Uh, no. <laughs> At Local 12 Jed, they made hats. They made revenge tour hats. They made hats for that stupid thing that Chase Sotovich said, and they sold them to people. Yep, we made we made merchandise and uh, it sold. It, it sold them. So hey, Revenge Tour 2019, here we come. Chase, hey, so even though there are some haters out there, what people need to know is you're actually a kind-hearted person. Thank you. I know this firsthand. Um, so I want to talk about your charity work and last season and into this season, you actually cleared $200,000 for the Chad Tuff Foundation. Now, what made you want to dedicate part of your life to giving back to others? For me, it's like, I've kind of viewed this whole situation and you know, this, this life blessing of mm -hmm. you know, being able to play Division One football and, and being on this great platform as kind of, you know, almost like I'm renting it, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's not really, you know, mine in the sense that there's so many people and, and you know, so, so many efforts that, you know, however minuscule that went into uh, me being in the position I'm in today. So the way I see it is it's, it's kind of like a tax for being human. Like if you're in that position, like you have to try to do something, you know, at least at the very minimum once a year, you know, to, to give back yeah. and, and, and and return that favor back into the universe because the you know the universe you know I firmly believe has gifted me this yes. so it's um, it, it really is a, a privilege and an honor uh, to be able to do something like that and yeah. last year it was it was funny it was just like you know one of those opportunities um, you know I she was outside of the you know Schembechler Hall and I came knocking on her window and and I presented the you know these ideas like you know mm -hmm. a couple of them and finally we settled on you know. Chad's favorite color was orange. Yeah. So why not dye, you know, our, my hair and then you know some of my teammates and, and coaches. It just kept in. growing. It, it kept growing. Yeah. It, it multiplied. But you know why not dye it orange for him? Mm -hmm. Once we reach certain benchmarks, and mm -hmm. so we started with fifteen thousand dollars, and we only had like I think like a week or ten days before yeah. the game. So it was it was like you know I hope we get this. Yeah. And then I think we cleared that in less than twenty four hours. Yeah. Um, it was incredible. It really was. It really was. And yeah. so from there, it took off. And um, it just, yeah, like the, the rest is kind of history. But, you know, that was just, you know, a really cool opportunity. And, you know, it came to this year. And uh, we had kind of had the opportunity to do the same thing for the bowl game this year. Um, but it just, it was, the, the climate was a little different, you know, yeah. like losing losing team members and uh, just the, the way we had lost, like, to Ohio State. Right. Um, it was it just didn't really work out. Yeah. But I'm excited because, you know, there's other plans in the works. We're going to do, yeah. you know, possibly a, uh, a live charity stream with, oh, with Nick yeah. Merckx and some, you know, some coaches at Michigan and, uh, and you know, some other, like, famous streamers. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, there's, there's cool opportunities yeah. ahead that, you know, are already brewing and uh, that we're being worked on currently. Well, it's good that you're continuing this on throughout the rest of the year. So I think a lot of people will appreciate that. Right. It's something that's going to stick with me. Uh, you know, for the rest of, you know, 
my years as uh, as an athlete yeah. and someone in this position. It shows like your character and everything. A lot of I was reading a lot of tweets about it, and a lot of people were calling you like the epitome of a Michigan man. So I think that really shows your character. That is high praise. So yes. thank you to those people. Yes. So the tweets aren't all bad. Yeah, tweets got, aren't all bad. Yeah, we got we got some good ones. Yes, a lot of respect for Chase Winovich. All right, well, thank you, Chase, so much for thank coming on our show today. Yeah, thank but you yeah. so much for having me, yeah. and, and thank you to uh, TJTV for uh, hosting letting, this whole yeah, thing. Letting us use their studio. So thank you. Good luck in the future, and we'll see what happens for Chase. Stay I'll tuned. See you, hey, I'll see you next year. Yeah, see you next year.